There's a group of surprise visitors for this SF unit today. A platoon of MPs from the Law Enforcement and Ceremonial Company are conducting their disciplinary spot checks on the unsuspecting servicemen. As military policemen, they are armed with policing powers to enforce discipline and maintain law and order in the SAF. These spot checks for contraband items are conducted on a regular basis in all military installations and camps. This is one place where a serviceman would not want to be after the spot check. Called the seizure point, all contraband found will be tagged, registered and are either confiscated or returned to the appropriate unit disciplinary authorities for further action. As a deterrence and preventive measure against the import of contraband items by military personnel returning from overseas operations or training, border enforcement operations are also mounted to ensure that servicemen abide by Singapore's laws. During these surprise enforcement operations, the MPs will sometimes come up against very difficult people, either because their routines are inevitably disrupted or because they really do have something to hide. To those who are more aggressive and less, uh, less cooperative, it will be a lot more firm to them and like, we'll just start raising our voices, but no, no physical contact with them or things like that. If extreme cases happen, uh, we'll, take out our, we'll just take out our handcuffs, handcuff them. If he's come down, he starts listening to instructions again, then we'll let him go. Because it basically, cuffing him is just a sign of deterrence to show the rest that we really mean business. Obviously, when we go on the job, when we go on our ops, not many people like us. However, we have to continue doing it so that we can uphold the discipline of the SAF. When MPs are not out and about on duty in camps and bases, you can find them on the open road. The traffic platoon, or what's commonly known as outriders, enforces discipline and traffic safety among SAF vehicle operators. The platoon also conduct escort operations involving heavy vehicles or large platforms when they travel on public roads. The MP is known as a strict enforcer of military discipline. But he also has a hand in the reforming of military offenders. Through a combination of strict military discipline and rehabilitative programs, military policemen working in the SF detention barracks help to reintegrate detainees back into the SF and back into the society. The detention barrack MPs manage the daily routine and well-being of detainees. These include conducting the deterrence regime of physical training and military discipline activities and coordinating rehabilitative programs such as life skills training and academic classes which are run by volunteers. Even as they enforce strict discipline within the detention barracks, the MPs temper discipline with care. Our primary role as military policemen is enforcers of discipline in the SAF. Of course, we have to enforce discipline. But however, we also do go into rehabilitation and counselling to find out the source of their anxiety, the source of their problems, or the source of their issues which lead them here. We need to look at what is truly bothering them. We need to tone down a bit converse so that we can find out the sources of their problem and attend to it, then that will be more effective in their rehabilitation and their reforming work. Servicemen, after their release, will continue with the rehabilitation programmes, which are managed by their unit commanders, SF Counselling Centre and para counsellors. The hope of every MP in the detention barracks is that the servicemen they have helped gets a second chance at making things right. I met a detainee, he came up to me, Sir, how are you? I said, 
okay, I'm fine, thank you. What are you doing now? Oh, I've just awarded. And so what are you doing now? Uh, I'm really looking, uh, already submit, submitting my resumes for shipping companies. I said, wow, that's good. So have you kicked off your bad habit in which he was drugs? But then he said, yeah, I've totally kicked off and I'm really washed my hands. The hope that we have for them is, I would say, uh, to see them becoming a better person. The MPs put their best foot forward to maintain the highest standard of excellence in parades and ceremonies.